What is going on, Seminole family? No nation. And of course, the 863 tribe. We are back at it with another one. And this time, we going over Najik. Hope I'm pronouncing his first name right. But Nigelik Kelly. And this is going to continue our week-long recruiting breakdown. Or our week-long highlight film breakdown of each 2022 commit. A part of the tribe 2022. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. It's your boy Poke. A.K.A. Alo. A.K.A. The Got. Damn Truth. And you already know what we're here to do. So let's not waste too much time. Let's get right into Nigelie Kelly. Strong side defensive and out of Fort Lauderdale, 6'5", 240, four-star. Let's get into this tape. Let's see what we like. Let's see what FSU is getting in this young man who just recently picked up that fourth star, by the way. He just recently picked up that fourth star. Let's see what we're getting, man. Stop all the talking. Get to the tape. Let's go. Nigelik Kelly. Let's get it. I think he's at the bottom of your screen here. And there you go. Just nasty. That was nasty. Three three man down. Three man front. So they're using more of a three three four, I guess. Calls the fumble here. Got in the backfield. Here he is again at the bottom. This time he's at the bottom of the three down linemen. And just bull rushes straight through. So I don't see, when I watch him, I don't necessarily see that explosive get off. You know, that explosive first step. What I do see is power. Like right here, he's not even blocked. So yeah, if you don't block a guy... You're not going to be able to react in time. Um, let's see what he does. But on this play, I feel like the offensive lineman had a shot on him. He just wasn't strong enough to, to hold him. Same thing here. Offensive line got a hand on him. He, he just bull rushed straight through it. So what you're looking right here, I think you're looking for, here you're looking for a traditional strong side DN. I mean, a guy who's going to set the edge, contain the run to the outside, uh, 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 be stout against the run but I don't know if you're looking at a, a major sack guy here not too sure we're looking at a major sack I mean he just bull rushes through the through, through the offensive line that's going to be I think his bread and butter let's see let's check some hand placement see how he does there some of these clips like bam just I would like to see him get tighter on the inside there He's giving, a, he's giving the offensive lineman a lot of chances to really grab onto him and hold him, but he, he's got to get a little bit more violent with the hands, too. That would take him to the next level, but I think he's just got natural, pure strength that I think you got to be excited about. Again, I don't think you're looking at an, an explosive edge rusher here. It doesn't mean he's not a good player. Keeps his eyes up, keeps his head um on a swivel, locates the ball fairly well. And again, he just bull rushes straight in the backfield on most most plays. So that's good to see. Don't think he's very don't think he's very twitchy though. At least from what I'm seeing here. Even right here, he, he had him in a contain. He, okay, here he gets the ball in his hands. You get to see him in the open field and do a little bit. <laughs> but I think right there kind of sums up what I was talking about. I don't know if he's a, a, a superior athlete in space. I think he's a guy who's going to work, who's going to uh, beat you with pure strength and muscle. Not necessarily um, speed and quickness. Which is fine. It's fine for playing that strong side DN. It's fine. You need those type of bodies. I mean, if he's 6'5", 240 now, 
I think you're looking at a kid who's going to, his college, his collegiate playing weight, when he's ready, I think you're looking at a kid that's 260 at the at a minimum. Could very similar to J Rock. Could be another Janoris Robinson. Um, we would like maybe more production than J Rob gave, gave us, but I think Janoris Robinson was effective sometimes. Uh, you could be seeing a similar player here, from what I see. I don't think you're looking at a six, seven, eight type of uh, sack defensive end. I think you're looking at a guy who. The stats might not reflect what he's able to do or what he's uh, contributing to. Might only get a few sacks a year, uh, but might have a ton of tackles for loss. Um, again, good play on the edge, man. He just he, he does lack that explosive burst, though does lack that explosive burst but he doesn't lack in strength he doesn't lack in strength he doesn't lack in his motor even though i think his motor can be a little higher um there are some times i'm watching him and i'm feeling like yeah he's just kind of going through the motions like right there he just doesn't look particularly explosive you know but it's hard to judge he might not have to be at that level In a lot of ways, I'm not even sure he's really, you know, giving it 100% out there. But he's got the tools, he's got the, he's got the tools, he's got the length, he's got the size. I mean, this is a guy that you're going to try to shape and mold into what you want. He's by far, obviously, not a finished product. He's obviously not a finished product right now. He's got a lot of tape, though. That, in my opinion, is where he excels, and that's shedding blocks. That's get, getting up in the offensive lineman's face and shedding the block, ripping, shedding the block. Oh, right there, just sheds the block, gets in the backfield. I think that's what he does best, which is fine, which is absolutely fine. And this should be the last clip right here. Yes, sir. Man, and there you go. That was it. A young athletic big man out on the outside rushing the passer. Strong side defensive end, Nigel Lee Kelly. 6'5", 240. Four star out of Broward. Yes, sir. I'll take them South Florida boys all day. And as always, man. Hit the like button. And again, man, only about... There's not a lot of y'all that are subscribed to the channel. The analytics tell me about 70% of the people that watch my content are not subscribed. That's a huge amount. And we're on the road to 1K. So hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And to help build the subscriptions, share the videos. Share the videos. But I thank everybody for coming in and tuning in as we watch Nigel Eat Kelly. And we're only going to keep going from here. Stay classy, Seminoles. It's your boy, Pope. And we got you. Go Nose.